Tottenham will play Norwich City in a friendly this Friday. Jose Mourinho has been warned not to put Harry Kane in at the deep end. Spurs and Arsenal will battle it out for Norwich fullback Max Ahrens. Two new contracts signed today, remembering Justin Edinburgh one year on. And it has been confirmed that Spurs had a bid turned down from Southend United for one of their strikers. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Monday the 8th of June. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. As we all know, striker Harry Kane has not played a competitive game of football for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club since the 1st of January. Yes, it has been that long. The 1st of January when he limped off away at Southampton in our 1-0 Premier League defeat. Well, uh, former goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to Sky Sports and has stated that Jose Mourinho should not throw Harry Kane in at the deep end, making him play two or three games a week when the Premier League resumes next week. Robinson told Sky Sports, you have to worry whether Harry Kane can play two or three games a week, whether he can play 90 minutes on a Saturday and then will have to wait again for the following Saturday to play another 90 minutes. It will be about how Jose Mourinho manages the situation because you can't expect a player who's been out for that length of time to be able to come back and play three games a week with all the demands the Premier League puts on you. Some Spurs women news was released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club earlier today and it stated, We are delighted to announce that Rihanna Dean has signed a new contract with the club that will now run until 2021 with an option to extend for a further year. Our top goal scorer for the last two consecutive seasons, Rihanna has scored 27 goals in 43 appearances in all competitions since arriving from Millwall Lionesses in 2018. On the TalkSport website, they have done a prediction where their supercomputer has predicted where every Premier League club will finish at the end of the 2019-2020 season. It goes like this. They think that Liverpool will win the league. You know, we all agree with that. Manchester City will finish second. They believe that Leicester will finish third. Manchester United fourth. Chelsea fifth. And they have got Tottenham in sixth place with Wolves in seventh and Sheffield United in eighth. Now, if Tottenham were to finish in sixth place, it would mean that we will have a Europa League place for next season. But please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Where do you realistically see Tottenham finishing at the end of July, at the end of the 2019-2020 season? There has been so much media speculation, certainly in the last 12 months or so, about Tottenham possibly signing Norwich fullback Max Ahrens. Well, another report has come out today from the Daily Mirror, and they are stating that Arsenal joined Tottenham in Max Ahrens' transfer battle, but they are set to be priced out. The North London rivals could go head-to-head -head for the signing of the Norwich fullback this summer, but there are now doubts over whether the Gunners can afford him. The article then goes on to say that Arsenal are said to have joined their North London rivals Tottenham in the chase for Norwich defender Max Ahrens, but are unwilling to pay the Canaries £30 million asking price for the player. It is believed that Spurs are currently favourites to land Max Ahrens due to their stronger financial position, with Arsenal unlikely to be able to afford Arteta much in the way of money for transfers due to the coronavirus crisis. At the bottom of the article, it states that Norwich are reluctant to let arguably their best player leave for anything less than £30 million, especially given he only signed a new five-year contract last year. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If Max Ahrens was available for £30 million, would this be a good move for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club? 
It is now only 11 days until Tottenham are back in Premier League action against Manchester United at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Please do let me know your score predictions in the comments section below and indeed how you think Jose Mourinho will set up against Manchester United for the Premier League return. Now, the players have been working extremely hard again at Hotspur Way today and these pictures were released by the club earlier today. Another announcement earlier today from the Tottenham Hotspur women and it said we are delighted to announce that Anna Philby has signed a new contract with the club that will run until 2021 with the option to extend for a further year. The 20-year-old joined us from Arsenal two years ago and was part of the 2018-2019 squad that gained promotion to the Barclays FA Women's Super League. The central defender signed her first full-time uh, professional contract at the club ahead of our debut campaign in the WSL and established herself as a mainstay in the side, making 16 appearances in all competitions. Last season also saw Anna earn her first senior international caps for Wales in wins against Belarus and Estonia. I report out earlier today from the Daily Mail and they have stated that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club had a bid rejected in January from Southend United for striker Charlie Kelman. A report was published by the Daily Telegraph last night and um, they have stated that Jose Mourinho has lined up a friendly for his Tottenham side to face Norwich City this Friday as he steps up plans to resume the season later this month. Both clubs have played in-house 11 v 11 matches since practice matches were granted during Step 2 of Project Restart, but the fixture is one of the first arranged for Premier League opposition to face one another. If you're asking why Tottenham chose Norwich City to have the friendly against, well, teams are only allowed to face opposition they have already played twice in the Premier League and will not play in the run-in when action starts again on the 17th of June. Neither Spurs or Norwich have announced the venue of their friendly and it can be played at either stadium, either Carrow Road or the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium or either training ground. Um, it is not known at this stage whether this will be televised. Um, if I had my opinion, I doubt it would be televised, but I'm sure that um, either Tottenham or Norwich or even both clubs will be putting a lot of stuff out on their social media once the game has been played. Tottenham tweeted earlier today, today marks one year since the tragic passing of Justin Edinburgh, a true Spurs legend, never forgotten. Um, here is an interview that I did with Justin Edinburgh just a couple of weeks before he tragically passed away. Um, legend, a true, true Spurs legend. I absolutely adored the guy. Um, always had time for the fans. If you wanted to ask him 100 questions, he would have stood there and he would have answered uh, every single one of them. Um, I absolutely adored him and uh, truly missed by every single Spurs fan around the world. So I'm now with the legend Justin Edinburgh. Justin, from a personal point of view and a Tottenham point of view, it's been a terrific season, yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah, it has really good personally. Um, managed to get Leighton Orient promoted back into the Football League. Um, so that, that was a, a massive achievement. And then obviously, from uh, a Spurs perspective, it's been a remarkable season yeah. um, to achieve what we have in the circumstances, um, I think probably goes down as one of the best seasons in the club's history. I, I, I do say that, yeah. you know, because to have not signed a single player in the last two windows um, and even lose players of the quality of Moussa Dembele mm -hmm. and to be in the final of a Champions League is, uh, is quite a remarkable feat. And, uh, you know, congratulations to, to the players. but to the manager and his staff. It, it, it's been a, an, an outstanding season, really has. I love it when you talk about Spurs, you say we. <laughs> well, that is, you know, I, I think that was to have been privileged enough to be here for a, as a player for over 10 years. I think it then gets it ingrained into you. And um, I, I just, to be coming back to this quite remarkable stadium, uh, to be supporting this fantastic team and, and to now witness 
uh, us going into the Champions League final was, um, I suppose, something that I didn't probably envisage would happen this season. But uh, absolutely delighted that it has. How, how would you actually rate this season? Because um, with all the problems, we've had injuries, we've played a lot of the games away from home, we've signed nobody. Yeah. Um, is this a great season for the club? Uh, I think, it's, like I said, I think it's what I can remember. Uh, it, it's got to be the best. Mm. You know, I know nothing's been won and I know a lot has made about that, that this team now needs to win trophies mm -hmm. to go on to that next level. But for me to achieve what they have this season, um, to be in the top four all season, to now go to the final Champions League, yeah. like we say, no, no, no signings in the last two transfer windows, losing players, injuries, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to be able to do it, um, it, it's been quite remarkable, it really has. And, um, you know, I think that, that, that showed on Wednesday night through the manager's emotions. I, I think, you know, he's a, he's a calm, collective yeah. character, but I think we see what it meant and what an achievement it was for, for, for this club to, to, to achieve what they are going to achieve this season. Yeah. Now, Everton at home today, how do you yeah. see that one going? I, I, I can't see anything other than a win. I think we always do well against Everton. Mm -hmm. um, I think the momentum, the euphoria, the, the, what the fans are going to generate out here today, uh, I, I can only see us carrying across the line. It'll be tough, but yeah. you know we're going to be running on empty. But I think last game um, here today, knowing that you know um, what, what, what we've achieved and what the fans are going to generate into them players, I, I think it'll be a win today. Justin, thank you very much and many congratulations on your promotion. Thank you thank very you. much. Last year in May, I was very lucky to get this award, the Best Club Content Creator Award at the Football Blogging Awards at the Etihad Stadium, the home of Manchester City. It was actually the day after the Ajax game. I flew back from Amsterdam, went straight up to Manchester and won this award. What a 24 hours uh, watching Lucas Moura score that hat-trick and then picking up this award. Well, I have just been notified that I have been shortlisted for the 2020 award for the Football Content Awards at the Tottenham. Hotspur Stadium this November. Um, you can vote for me um, for this award. Um, in the comments section below, I put all of the links. You can vote via Twitter and Instagram, but probably the easiest way is to just go onto their website, um, go down the scroll down boxes and just see my name, Chris Cowling, and then just pre press the submit button and then you will cast your vote. I would really appreciate it. What a moment it would be to lift a trophy at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I will see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.